I will stir up the bees against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. And yeah, man, the bees are talking about the Russians, man. You know, the most already got the spirit on the Russians, man. I bought a better man, You know what I'm saying? You know, we need to it together, man. You know? Uh, uh, hitting out uh, all kind of uh, defense systems with uh, allies. Right, right, right. For Billy, he's equal 38, man. came into power first, his first time ever being in power in the earth. Because people think that, you know, the white man always been prominent. Like, he ain't always been prominent. If you go back to the Middle Ages, that wasn't the so-called white man during the time of the Vikings and the, and, the, and the different knights, you know? Going to the time of, uh, from around, you know, a hundred, in 98 AD to about 324 AD, all the way to the uh, mid, early to mid 1300s, 1400s. The so-called, the so-called, uh, the so-called black man was ruling. The Israelites was ruling here. That's why it was called the Dark Ages. And we can, we can prove it. This, but <clears throat> the point being is that the so-called white men wasn't the Egyptians like they show you in the movies. Them were so-called black men, but they were Hamites, Africans. We ain't Hamites. We not Africans, man. Oh. Ain't shit African about us, about the so-called... You are Israelite. The ancient Egyptians were so-called black men, but they were Hamites. Hamites. Oh, the Sudanese. You know? The Negroes, the Negroes are so-called black too, but we ain't the same people. And if you're spiritual, you can see that. Y'all was here already. Y'all who? Well, yeah, all, all, all mankind come from the soil. That's why we need the minerals of the earth to keep our body going. The, uh, you know, so... Everybody had a uh, pigmentation at one point in time. Different shades of brown. Dark brown, light brown. Yeah, but we was classified as, as different nations. Just because we are the same color don't make us the same people. Sure. That's... Ancient Egypt, they not they knowledge. It didn't say when he studied with him, but I know, I know, I know. I know. 
nah, he didn't get it. He had knowledge in, 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 in Egypt, but he kept, he was an Israelite. His mother taught him about being an Israelite. If you read the history, I'm like, really? Really? I'm saying, Moses spoke against the uh, Egyptian Empire. He could turn a stick into a snake just like that. But the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians, they learned their knowledge from. Uh, if you really want to go into it, from Abraham. Yeah, but you don't know. Moses, uh, Joseph made ancient Egypt great, but ancient Egypt ain't shit right now. It got a bunch of Arabs. Egypt right now ain't shit. You got a bunch of Arabs controlling. So if you, you know, if you believe you're Egypt, Egyptian, that's fine. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you see, you on that Egyptian, that yeah, African you know, island. Yeah, yeah, you ain't knowing that you, you be, you bug, you be bugged out going in and all that shit they teach you. after the yeah, ice age and they're all that shit. They're digging this up now. They're finding that African and even the Indians. But yeah, have we did it? Yeah, yeah who digging it up? Yeah. We digging it up with yeah. our money on the white man digging, digging it up, up, giving us this. Yeah. 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 Oh, come on, come on now. I'm sure you would. Where the where the black man, excavators? Man, want to give them that information. That, that, that. Hey, have a nice day, man. You bugged out, really. No, I ain't gonna go back and forth with somebody like that. If you believe you're Egyptian, go ahead. That's your life. If you believe that, whatever the hell you believe. Hey, look, I know all of them here make the tribes in Africa, but the black man, he's just Egyptian. He ain't none of the tribes in Egypt. That's it. Like, we can't think that another tribe in Africa. We're just strictly Egyptian. You yeah. know about the word of God, right? A living God, right? The word of God. Right. Let's get back to the word. Y'all go by the word. That's good. Right. This is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet was as the feet of a bear. Right. So it's talking about the rise of the so called white man coming into power. It started during the Greek. When the Greek Empire came about, and, lot, and then uh, that was the rise of it. The fall of it is gonna be by Esau, the so-called white man. Go ahead, brother. I don't want to go into the whole verse. Just read that part and yeah. we're gonna get off of it. And his feet were like as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. That's it. Just read right. the part about the bear. I don't want to go into the whole verse. I just emphasize on the first part of that verse. It's talking about the rise and the fall of the so-called white man. Oh. Going into the Greek Empire, and then how's he gonna fall? The most high is gonna use the Russians to play a key role and destroy him. The, the bear represents the Russians. And that's the one that destroyed this place, and they the ones gonna be responsible for shooting the majority of those 200 million missiles over here uh, on America. God. You know? Second Ezra, where you at? Oh, okay, you're saying, you're saying Ezra. Yeah, well, let's read a few verses, and uh, and we read verse 15 already, right? Yeah, because you've already got up to the land of the north. Yeah, that's good right there. Go to Second Ezra. The rest of that chapter is good, but uh, we're going to read this. Right. The Second Ezra? Yeah, we ain't got time to sit up here and go back and forth and try to debate and, 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 and talk about all the white man's nonsense that these niggas uh, in this, on this Africanism and Egyptology bullshit believe in. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be going in fucking circles talking to them niggas, man. If that's what you believe, have a nice day, enjoy your fucking destruction. You know what I mean? Enjoy it and have a, have a nice time uh, uh, talking that shit when, when the Howard bring judgment on them. Oh.
which is the so-called white man, that he's even going into slavery and his kingdom going down. Oh. Look, they they proud, but yeah, no way. <laughs> you see him, he, you can't. I mean, you can get the sharpest needle and then poke him, and that can take the pride out of them. Yeah. So, ahead, right, they say they call them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, back when, when we were young and when I was. I'm still a novice in the truth, but even when I was more of a novice years ago, uh, I let that shit trouble me, man. That Jake walking around the world now, you know, scoffing at the word, not believing. And that shit used to really piss me off. So fuck you. Oh. I mean, it make me mad, but they doing what they supposed to do. They they fulfilling their lot, man. We got to have scoffers and, 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 and rebellious shit-talking Israelites. Not Israelites. Niggas talking about all the tribes from Judah all the way uh, down through Issachar. You know? We got something. Going. Hey, with that, man, we going to close it. Shut down for uh, today. I'm going to tell them be back out here uh, for tomorrow, in our case, and then, of course, you know, the next week. Uh, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shout out one to all the Akim out there that's pushing the word uh, in faith and in truth. Shout out one. Shout out one.